just walk right out the door Don't want to do this anymore Now I'm lost without you You drive me crazy out my mind How'd you do this? Oh, crates, crates, he's in the red crates One's dead, there's two. I killed both players. I killed both players inside, but that, that shot was not the stab. What's up guys, F Focus, and we're back on some escape from Tarkov. So, as you can tell from the title of the video, this is my favorite loadout. Uh, and this is just going to be focused on the AK, obviously. Um, but this also plays a role. Uh, I always take a sniper with me because there's always a sniper quest going on. Usually it's a Mosin. But uh, I've actually completed all of my Mosin quests. I've actually completed all quests but two in the game. Uh, and also, on top of all of that, uh, right now I just enjoy sniping. So right now my cho my sniper of choice is SV-98. Usually suppressed with a Valde 1.6. Uh, but you guys can... That's neither here nor there. Um, this is just for the AK builds. Now the AKs in specific that we're talking about is the 545 by 39 AK variant, which in my opinion is my favorite. Uh, it offers the best uh, recoil. I, I know that you can get, uh, you can build the 556 is pretty nice, and you can, uh, I mean, the 762 BP hits like a truck. Uh, but for fire rate and overall uh, just control, I like the 545 the best, as I think most people do. Alright, so just to get things out of the way as far as ammo goes, you see two choices up there right now, BS and 7N39. Uh, obviously people are going to say 7N39 is by far the best choice, and I can agree with that for pin. Uh, but I actually haven't used 7N39 at all this wipe, I've only used BS, and I've not had an, any issue dropping massively geared players. Uh, so just keep that in mind, they both work extremely well. Uh, the only problem is Inglock is going to be a way more pricey. Uh, the, the cheapest one I could find on Inglock, a guy was selling like 1,300 rounds um, for 640 rubles per round. Uh, and at least BS you can buy from Prapper. Um, pretty consistent. You can only get 300 rounds uh, per cycle, but you can get them for 554 rubles a round. Uh, and other than that, the cheapest bulk I found from another player on the flea market was 607 rubles per round. So it is a little bit cheaper, um, and that additional like 50 or 100 rubles per round does add up quite a lot. All right, so there are actually nine total 545 by 39 AK variants, uh, and. Basically, the, the, I'd, I'd say the most common actually is the AK-74M, mainly because I find that all the time on little scavengers or just regular scavs or other PMCs. Um, but you got the AK-74, uh, AK-74M, like I said, AK-74N, AK-105, AKS-74, AKS-74N, AKS-74U, AKS-74UB, AKS-74UN. Uh, now, based off of certain mods that can be equipped and cannot be equipped, um, we're going to pretty much exclude all the AKS U's, uh, just mainly because it's, it's, that's more of like a, like a custom CQB kind of rifle. And this one you can throw a scope on there if you want. My preference is really just to do the PK-06. I'm not going to include sights. I have it up there, but I'm not going to include it uh, because that's really everyone's personal preference. A lot of people like other red dots, hollows, and everything else. So... For this video, though, is going to be the AK-74M. And the reason for that is because it's the cheapest AK I could find off the flea market. You can get it as low as like 14,000 rubles by some players. Um, but n normally from other players, it stays at around 20,000 rubles, even around 19,000 rubles. Uh, you can buy it from Mechanic for 27,000 rubles, which is pretty cheap. Now, my favorite build to run before this was the AK-105, uh, just because it's so small and compact. And you can almost get the numbers the same, uh, you know, for way shorter of a barrel length. So it's more of a CQB kind of rifle. Uh, but I've kind of moved more over to the AK-74M, uh, mainly just for its its overall um, control, and you can obviously get the ergo just a tad bit better. And that's what I build my rifles for is ergonomics. Uh, but we'll get into the grips and everything else in a second. Now, obviously, the price on the flea markets on certain items that you might be able to get for a little bit cheaper uh, are going to vary, but... 90% of the time of me buying everything as far as all these gun parts go, the traders actually had the cheapest price. Um, and so the only thing that varies is buying the actual gun. 
Um, and sometimes you can buy a gun that's actually full, um, like a functioning gun, and you can sell all the shitty, you know, stock parts, um, so you can get back a little bit of profit. Um, but the lowest I had this build was 138,000 rubles. On average, it cost me around 144,000 rubles. Um, so just keep that in mind. I know it sounds like a lot, but for this, I mean, this is in-game, like in-tier kind of. Um, best build really so there's not going to really get any better than this um, until they add new parts or change some stuff up uh, so basically there's two builds for this and the only thing that change uh, really is the uh, grip in my in my opinion um, there's obviously some different hand guards you guys can change to change it up just a tad bit uh, but but for me um, that hexagon grip actually offers a little bit more ergo so if you really want a full ergo build uh, then you guys can switch in on that and as you you can see here this gives five recoil and ten ergo um, and I think the hex gun gives like two or three recoil and 14 ergo or 15 ergo if it's the anodized red one uh, but I just don't like I, 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 I'd rather have a little bit more recoil and a nice ergo build because this one right here is sitting at 83 and that is that is extremely fucking fantastic compared to uh, tossing on that hex gun and the hex gun only works on cer certain parts. Like I used to run the AK-105, but you can't actually put um, the CMRD key mod on the AK-105. So I was having to use that new Annihilator one, which don't get me wrong, is fantastic. But it's just not quite uh, the build I was looking for. With that in mind, um, this is my favorite build. I call it the Perfect Balance AK. And that's going to give you, like it shows, an ergo of 83. Um, with a vertical of 54, horizontal of 151, totaling you at 205 on your recoil. Um, and the only thing that changes, in, even in the slightest, is like I said, I take off the grip, and I put on my other grip, and it changes. This is my loud recoil. <laughs> it's just as it shows. Um, giving us 70 ergo, so we actually drop 13, which is pretty huge in my opinion. It's not, you know, game changing, but for me it kind of is because I'm used to that snappy ergo. Um, and then I have a vertical of 50, horizontal of 139, totaling us out at 189 recoil. All right, so looking at parts, uh, we're going to just start off in row, kind of how I have them labeled here. You got the Zenit RP1, uh, which is the uh, charging handle. Sorry, I couldn't think. That runs you around 2,800 rubles. Uh, that I, the always I can find that cheapest from Skier. Some people sell them for like 15, 16, 18K. I have no idea why. Always buy it from Skier. And this is where things kind of vary. I usually use the RK3 uh, pistol grip because it offers the best ergo, but it only offers it by one. Um, there is a Magpul MOE pistol grip that gives 12 ergo, and it's a whole lot uh, less weight. The uh, Magpul MOE pistol grip is actually 0 .080 uh, kilograms, and this one's 0 .225 kilograms. So if you want to lower the overall weight, um, make your movement a little bit quicker, then I definitely would toss that on there. You only lose one ergo. I, I kind of toss them up back and forth, um, but here lately I've actually been using the RK3. Uh, so again, that's again total preference whether you want the weight to ergo kind of uh, ratio. Uh, and changing it now you guys have the choice of going suppressed if you'd like but since I always have a suppressed sniper along with me as my long range I always have my AK as loud because I can build uh, a better recoil and ergo build um, with not having a suppressor on there so I kind of go always loud and I, I never take anything but the PWS uh, CQB muzzle brake uh, it offers the best at 11% recoil, um, only gives minus one ergo, which is fantastic, and it actually does, you know, the 0.5 muzzle velocity. Uh, but the big thing is that that uh, that substantial increase in lower recoil. Um, I said increase in lower, doesn't make any sense. And also only the negative one ergo. You go into the suppressors and everything else, that number gets way bigger on the ergo. And like I said, I focus on my ergo builds. Um, now this new dust cover is actually the Fab Defense uh, PDC dust cover. It gives 1% accuracy and actually 7 ergo, which is the best dust cover you can put on an AK as far as ergonomics goes. Um, and again, that CQB, I didn't say, runs at around uh, 10,000 rubles. Um, sometimes people sell it cheaper, cheaper but usually not. And uh, the Fab Defense uh, PDC dust cover runs you around 16,000 rubles. There's some other close options, but by far this is the best um, for as far as stats it offers. Um, and I always I always run uh, the PT3 stock. Um, 
you don't have to, but I love running that. So obviously you have to have the AK-74, AK-100 PT lock. That'll run you around 3,000 rubles. And then obviously the PT-3 stock, which gives you negative 40%, 45% recoil plus 10 ergonomics. But that'll run you at 21,000 rubles. Uh, so it's definitely more on the pricey side, but it definitely offers itself back up in stats. Now, again, I use the CMRD key mod. There are other options that you can run, but as far as like just balanced builds, this is by far the best, um, offering a real high amount of ergonomics and a real high amount of recoil. Um, usually, if you want to gain one, you substantially lose the other, and this one's pretty much right in the middle, but a high middle at that. So it's definitely one that I love to run. Uh, and just to have that, you're going to have to have the Strike Industry 6-inch guide to put a grip on there, so keep that in mind. Uh, the actual uh, key mod handguard itself is going to set you back 29,000 rubles. Uh, again, definitely worth it. And that 6-inch guide is going to set you back 1,400 rubles. Um, and that that handguard or that guide is, is sold a lot cheaper by other players sometimes. You, it's kind of hit or miss, though. So, of course, that's on everything. Now, my personal preference to have my perfect balance build, I always run the Fortis Shift grip, uh, minus 2% recoil, and 11 ergonomics. It's fantastic for ergonomics. So I always love running that. It'll run you around 131 USD from Peacekeeper. I never find it cheaper anywhere else. Uh, but some people do sell it for like 14,000 rubles. So if you're short on USD, there's always a really close second um, from another player selling it for uh, rubles. And again, you can change that up. Uh, this is where I said the variant changes as far as stock goes from my loud low recoil build and my perfect balance build. If you put the RK2 foregrip on there, which will give you minus two ergo and minus 5% recoil, but they don't change that much in my favor. I lose way less. I lose, you know, all my ergo, 13 points in fact, in total compared to just gaining just a little bit lower recoil if I switch to the, the RK2. All right, fellas, that is going to mark the end of the video. I know a lot of you guys already know this AK build. I know a lot of you guys already use this AK build, and it's all personal preference. Um, really, there's a bunch of new parts added in, uh, like the orange handguard. They look pretty cool. They don't offer the best stats, but they do look pretty cool. Uh, I, however, actually like the way this AK looks. If I'm running my AK-105s, I really do like that Annihilator uh, handguard. I think it looks just absolutely perfect. I'm more of an AK kind of guy, but I do run uh, every type of weapon in the game. Uh, so if you guys want to see any more of these types of videos, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I know it's kind of a different kind of guide style video than I normally do, and I'm sure these are all over the internet. But I've been asked by some of you guys personally to do these, so here it is. Without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe, share if you want to, and as always, enjoy. Pin you high.